Hello guys, so he, here we are today with Miki and she's going to tell us about her project and about her company and uh, we are going to learn some interesting stuff. So Miki, please introduce yourself, tell us more about yourself and about your company. Sure, uh, my name is Miki. I am a CMO for Swagata.io. We are a um, fashion entertainment metaverse that is um, mainly you know, from Japan. So we want to bring a lot more Japanese IP to a global market. Uh, that's kind of metaverse we're building right now. Um, that's currently uh, our metaverse is going to be built. Uh, it's going to be launched in Q1, uh, late Q1, early Q2 next year. And then, but right now, so far, we have sold over 10,000 uh, NFT collections so far. Uh, we have collab with. Uh, we have released three uh, collaborating uh, NFTs, and then also we have another three or four coming up so far. So yeah, um, for a lot of exciting things going on for us. We are really focused on building uh, to build a product and so build a community, uh, bring more partners in to yeah to hype up the metaverse industry. Yeah. Awesome. How do you see the fashion industry as a whole, like not focused on the Web3 space and Metaverse space, but as a whole? And how do you see the fashion industry coming into the Web3 space? I think for the fashion industry is, you know, um, we all have to wear something, you know, daily, right? So uh, it is kind of like come to the point it's a bit saturated right now. The you know, design, there's a limit to a design to actual, you know, actual you know, dressing. So, but, uh, and that's why a lot of more different brands actually move into a digital, digital fashion because that's where you can be more creative, be more bold into like different designs, right? And I think that's why a lot of luxury brands starting to like want to get into a digital fashion. Um, we do have, like for example, for us, we are not only working with traditional fashion brand, we are also working with, uh, we are the advisors for a, we're on the advisor board for the Metaverse Fashion Council. So uh, working with them to understand more about, bring more like a Metaverse fashion designer into our community. And then we actually, in our Metaverse, we're gonna have a creator's area. So for example, if they are not a fashion brand, but there are designers, they can actually mint their own design in a metaverse. So those kind of things that we want to do, it's not only about like, you know, having the brand coming into a metaverse and just you know, sell, but also bring like, individuals into the metaverse and then for them to shine. So it's, it's a place for everyone to shine. Awesome. How do you find designers or how do you find like NFT artists or fashion artists to come to your platform and to join uh, Suaga? Um, there are several ways. Uh, actually, one of the um, like one of the partner, actually advisor that we have right now is uh, someone who is a pretty famous person. I cannot disclose the name yet, but uh, he will be leading our creators area, and then uh, with his uh, connections and everything, it will be more of a connection to the fashion world and the entertainment world globally. So those are the part that we actually bring something in. And with the Metaverse Fashion Council, a lot of fa Metaverse Fashion Council members, they are designers themselves. And some of them are, you know, like some of them Metaverse designers. Uh, some of them are like regular, like fashion designers. So like those people have their network. We have our network in Japan. So like for us, for example, one of the collection we did is with Tokyo Girls Collection, which is one of the biggest fashion festival in Japan. And then, for that, it's like you work with all this, you know, Tokyo Girls Fashion Festival, they have top models, celebrities all in the wrong way, and that's where we are collaborate with. So for that network, we actually be able to learn, you know, get to meet a lot more like celebrities, brands, and bring those Japanese brands to the world, to the metaverse is kind of like one of our goals. Awesome. What do you see like the next trends in the Web3 space, like in general, but also in the fashion industry in the Web3, in the Web3 space? Um, I think overall, there are a lot, I mean, like play to earn is like everyone's play to earn right now. So like uh, one of the cool things about Metaverse uh, for us, for Swaga, is actually we swag to earn. So what it does is actually because in Metaverse, you can show off more, right? Yes. So basically it's like you swap your like into value. You show out what you have and turn them into value. And that's what we do for Swaga, swag to earn. And then, um, but that is kind of like a how to earn is a thing for user to think about like, oh, how are we gonna earn this, you know? So the, the more seamless, the easier, will be easier for the user, for the community to accept it. Uh, that's one thing. 
for the fashion part of it, I think uh, not only fashion. I think for some of the like physical stuff, you know, I think we really need to link some of the physical items to like you know the NFTs. So more like right now we talk about digitals, uh, physical digitals. Yes. That's actually one of the things that we do. Uh, we believe that um, digital is, is a, a thing that definitely will be working uh, for Swaga. For example, what we did uh, in the panel I mentioned a little bit like yesterday, that um, for example, you buy a piece of clothing at the regular retail store, and then that clothing just happened to be a limited edition. It has NFT comes with it, so like you can actually earn an NFT to actually be a wearable NFT in the metaverse. Or if you actually purchase a piece of NFT that can be exchanged, the actual clothing, in the clothing store, that's also another way to be a digital. So there are a lot of different ways to become a digital. Uh, what we call a digital right now nowadays. Um, yeah. So I, I guess like we are the one, um, not we like us, but like overall yes. in the Web3 industry, we are the one who actually making the definition, building, you know. To, to decide what is the definition of digital is, right, yeah. Awesome. What are the main challenges and problems that you have faced as a company? And also, what do you think are the main problems right now uh, for Web3 space to grow? Um, I think the biggest thing for the Web3 space to grow, the problem is that it's too difficult. Yes. It's too difficult to understand. Yeah. And, but also, it's, it's not easy to educate everyone to understand what Web3 is. If I ask my mom, say, hey, mom, understand Web3, my mom will be like, no, I'm not even going to get into it. So what we should do for the Web3 uh, as a project or as a whole industry, I think it's more of like um, education, you know, spreading information is very important, but more or less you have to actually be able to like, um, how do you say, become like a, a Web2 entry for the user interface. Yes. And then have the Web3 in the background, in the back end, to actually work on the technology. So for the general population, they don't need to understand technology. They just need to know, oh, I can buy this as my usual how I sh do shop online. It's just more fun. You know, that's all it needs. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, how can we find more about you, more about uh, what you are doing, and more about like the release of this metaverse of Swaga? Sure, um, we are uh, we are on Twitter, um, so you can find us on. You could type swaga.io uh, on Google, and also we have we are on Discord as well. Okay. So on Discord we have about uh, fifty thousand uh, users, and then uh, on Twitter we have about eighty thousand right now at the moment. Awesome. Any final words for our audience? Come check us out, <laughs> and uh, if you guys have any questions, you know. Come to Discord, or uh, we have a Telegram channel as well, and then come to our Twitters. You know, we are happy to answer any questions. Miki, thank you very much, and thank you guys for this time. And see you in the next chapter. Bye bye.